All right, welcome to Sunnyside Certified. This is Tiger, and I'm here with Squirk with a K, Mark with a Q. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, and so this is one of my good buddies. We have, you know, a long history together. Uh, been doing a lot of builds throughout in his mama's garage and everywhere else. And For sure. I really think we need to bring that type of stuff back because, I mean, we over here by ourselves, kind of growing up now. Yeah. It's like we need to get back in the garage and help each other out and so we're here with his nsx and he's going to talk a little bit about it yeah yeah so um again shout out to sunnyside certified yeah. shout out to tiger <laughs> uh, this has been cool we we go way way back yeah. so uh i like to talk about the old school stuff of building cars with four cars uh my boy had the camry i had a car ready to cord <laughs> yeah. uh you know so we definitely came up you know uh, but I like to talk about my 91 uh, Acura NSX. Um, pretty cool story. Uh, I was kind of hunting the car. I've had a bunch of cars, so I've had over 200 plus cars. Uh, and I typically sell them within a year. Uh, but this time I knew that I wanted, I always wanted an NSX. So I'm not really like the genuine Honda guy, but I'm a, you know, a genuine car guy, right? So I like stuff that's lifted. Um, so speaking of that. Yep. Is this your longest running tuner car? Yes, ever. <laughs> ever. This is the longest car I've ever had, and this is a car I probably won't sell unless someone's got an F430 to make me think about it. Because he has plenty of cars throughout the years, <laughs> and actually running is a big deal. So sure, absolutely. Yeah, this has been this has been my baby, and um, you know it has went through multiple forms, right? So this is actually the second revision of the car mm -hmm. uh, that kind of came out um, in the summer of 23. Uh, so super excited how it's coming out. Um, was able to kind of come out, check out a couple shows, uh, win a couple shows uh, in my class, you know, so shout out to Slam Enough, uh, like Gatlinburg, that was a big one. That was a big mm -hmm. win for me that really hit hard for me. So, uh, but uh, you know, we're going for a three-peat. Uh, for next year, so we're going to be doing some new add-ons and stuff like that. Uh, we can kind of talk about the car a little bit. Um, so, uh, shout out to Kendrick for getting the car to repaint it. Um, oh yeah, Cam's restoration. Yeah, Cam's restoration. So Spray getting that. me sprayed up. Uh, Chris uh, Falcon is actually he did all my custom fiberglass work uh, to do this one-off bumper. So that was pretty cool. Mm. Um, also, Kendrick helped me do. We had to come up with an idea. Actually, shout out to Bill for throwing me the idea of using the ISF side skirt splitters. Oh, nice. We were able to take those short nose six inches, um, repaint those and kind of do some two toning and stuff uh, to kind of make it one off. Uh, so, yeah, so cars got some pretty cool parts uh, I can kind of talk about. Um, as far as the front bumper, it is a spoon bumper that has been fitted for the 91, the pop up headlights. So that is uh, one in four in the world currently. So wow. pretty cool rare bumper, right? Uh, APRs did the uh, custom splitter, so it's one off. So it's a one of one. Oh, so uh, you, yeah. you so, contact the APR? Yeah, so reached out to APR. Oh, wow. Those guys were able to hook me up, sent them some that. templates. Yeah, so it's a one of one on the side skirts. Uh, as far as the carbon fiber splitters, there was a couple companies who made them back in the day, but uh, they don't make them anymore. Uh, so the side skirt splitters of one of one. Uh, the rear diffuser uh, is a Dolly Racing, and it's a one of two. So there's only one of two in the world. So <laughs> there's a um, bunch of rare parts. Yeah, on so show. a couple <laughs> rare parts that uh, I, they're really near and dear to me. So that's kind of the way I got it. Um, so I've, I've always wanted to be kind of separate myself for two things, right? Uh, the NSX is, you know, there's only so many body kits and so many wide bodies and all those different things, mm -hmm. um, and also every one of them's red, right? So I, I, you know, I really try to, I'm trying to be that top dog on the red car as far as on the East Coast, right? So that's, that is my goal in life is to have, you know, the, in my mind, the, one of the, the top five in the, the nation or wherever. So uh, nice. we'll keep building until we got that. A uh, couple things is coming in the future. We'll be going with like a carbon fiber snorkel in the back. Uh, we are turbo in the car. So we're going to be, the, the car's going down in a couple weeks. We'll be doing all the time and belt gaskets and all that good stuff. And then my buddy Adam, ECU Adam, is actually helping me. Uh, we're doing a custom turbo kit, oh, doing nice. a custom 6262. 
uh, outer air intercooler. Everything should be cool and custom in the back. Uh, and this is kind of the build we're doing on the road to SEMA. So shooting oh, to have nice. the car at SEMA for 24. Uh, actually having it in L.A. for the Chronicles meet and then to SEMA. So shout out to Joey Lee. Uh, so, yeah, man, we're out working hard trying to get this car done and in the midst of that and all the other junk I got. So, so whose booth are you going to be in for SEMA? Well, right now we're looking probably at Import Alliance. It's kind of the okay. talks, yeah. um, you know, well, but we don't know, right? So, so we just, just check that out in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe we're going to get this guy on his own channel and you get to follow for sure. the build on that. Yes, so, but hopefully we'll definitely be back on Sunnyside Certified multiple times, hopefully with multiple cars. Yeah. Uh, we got the Supra coming out sometime, so that's going to be another cool build. And it's actually a car that never ran, but it's also <laughs> the second that's car right. I've, had, I've owned the longest. But it's a 2JZ drag car, uh, so it should be a pretty cool car nice. once it's done. Oh, yeah. So, you know, what I heard a lot there is there was a community of people kind of coming together to to build a car right because sure and we we've, we've been through you know our my friends helped out including him and you know like so i put my first turbo kit in his mom's garage and yep. just it was all our friends i mean one guy's doing the gauge pod one you know everything was a, a mess but in the end we're just trying to have fun and build cars all right so. no shout out to pgk mo my little brother actually painted the bay of the car on the revision. Yep. Yep. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> he was actually in Ibach, uh, in uh, the Ibach meet in California, yep. and I was in the middle of doing. I think my transmission was bad, broken, and it was in the middle of you know everything torn apart. And I was I just text him say, like, Hey, you're painting my engine bay. <laughs> it was <laughs> it wasn't even a question. <laughs> and I, I don't think he was ready for it, but you know he he ended up doing it, and it's still it's still you know good till this to this day so yeah. um, so just to backtrack a little bit i mean you grew up around domestics sure and how did you you know transition to imports or is that just man it you know so a little background right so my dad raced motorcycles okay he uh always was building some old cars so he's had vets chevelles novas monte carlos you name it all the old school stuff right uh so i actually you know my dad passed away rp steve drennan uh, okay. But we still got, you know, um, the 86 Monte Carlo Super Sport. Then I also have his 1970 Nova Super Sport. So the Nova is actually coming back out. We're switching it over to like a fuel injection setup, so a Holly Sniper. So we're in the works of getting that together. But on the other flip, so when I was 16, I was offered a Cutlass on 13s. I'll never forget it, right? It had two 15s in the trunk. It was a low rider. Or a 94 uh, Camaro uh, Z28, uh, green with a soft top. And uh, I told my dad I wanted a cord, and he was just like, what? <laughs> An Accord? And he's like, you're trying to give me some power, some V8 stuff. And uh, I don't know, man. I just, I just say shout out to all my friends. You know, everybody was doing the import thing. The tuner thing was new. Uh, it was hot, right? So, uh, you know, I could think about, like, Hanoi Civic, Paul's right. cards, you so, know, all the, the uh, OGs. Yeah, Gandhi's. Yeah. He had an EF, he had a DA, yeah. he had a, uh, got Kipo with the 90, 92 body style core. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, Chicken's car, yeah. Kino's car, you right, know, right. Uh, I mean, all so the. This is, what, 1996, 97. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is, the, the import stuff just started hitting uh, Middle Tennessee as far as, you know, tuner wise yep and it's just like i don't know i i kind of fell in love with the hondas and and seeing some of the ogs that he just mentioned is just like and that i don't know it the sound of the vtech yeah for sure all that I mean, man <laughs> so, so that's what got me hooked but yeah no doubt like again all that was what what drove me to to keep going and try to make a better build every time uh, you know, we love some Hondas, man. We loved all cars and imports, you know. Uh, as I progressed in the game, you know, working for a little performance shop, um, you know, turbos was kind of the new thing. It was kicking in, right? So, uh, yeah. uh, so I wanted something turbo. If it was a B swap, SR20, RB, something, I just wanted it turbo. So, uh, yeah, I always yeah. had, man. And shout out to those schools. Also, like, uh, 
Bills Import Clinic. Right, you right, know? yeah. So, um, Bills Import Clinic yeah, was a big deal. Big deal I mean, for sure. They, they knew how to uh, fix the mistakes that we made. So. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Give us advice on, because we were just, you know, young and dumb. Yeah. And just, you know, trying to figure everything out. No, so. for sure. Uh, you know, even, hey, let's think about it, Mark's. Integra, your sister Civic. Oh yeah. You know, so going to Nopi for the first time. So, uh, yeah, you know. I had to borrow my sister's car because I didn't. You know, I had an '88 Camry, so and she had a, a '98 Civic Coupe. Yep. And we we drove down there. <laughs> yeah, man. And actually, we <laughs> rode the first year because remember Mark's wheel almost fell off. Oh yeah. You remember so, that yeah, in Chattanooga? Yeah. This, so on the racing so hearts, there's, man. There's so. a lot of memories. A lot of um, memories for sure. Uh, yeah, racing hearts. Speaking of, I mean, that's that's an original. Yeah. If you know, you know on that one. That's right. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, so all that stuff, man. So all the cool stuff in back in the day for sure. So you had a lot of different vehicles from you know Eclipses to Preludes to I mean I, S13s. I mean you know, yeah, right. Countless <laughs> S13s. <laughs> but one I want to make note of is we. He was one of the first people around here to get an R32 Skyline. I mean it was a GTST, but at was what 2006 seven maybe? i think it was like 2007 Around uh i think it was the first r32 that i knew of in tennessee for sure probably one of the first 10 in the nation uh they were they just wasn't here yet right it was uh uh kind of one of those you know gray market deals but uh at the time, who cared? You know what I mean? Was, <laughs> You're right. So I just wanted to be the and first you, of it. And you had an S14 with a RB25. Yep. You know, big turbo. Yep. T67 and on that car. I, I think that's what the other guy was looking for, yeah, right? Yeah, his son was looking for it. So his son was looking for that, and the trade worked out. Yeah. And we, <laughs> we rode down to that's Alabama, right. swapped it, and came, came on back. <laughs> Seen the R32, man. Shout out to D-Rock and Sylvan. Yeah. Uh, and everybody else who went, man, it was part of that transaction. It was... That was cool, man. So, R.P. to Marty for getting me a clutch and everything else. Oh, yeah, R.P. Um, but also, you know, since it was, it wasn't, take, you know, a legal car, we got some flack from, you know, on the forums. Back in the day, there was forums you can get on, kind of like the internet now. Yep. But we had to actually show pictures of my S13. <laughs> And his R32 is like, look, this is not a conversion. This, yes. is, this is a true R32. People didn't even believe it was a real car. <laughs> that's how rare it was at the time. Yeah. Then no one, it was, people were like, that's S13. It was like, no, nah, dude, it really isn't. <laughs> yeah. So we had to show, show like side by side pictures and, you know, even whatever. It's, it's not a big deal. For sure. You know, we still enjoyed it and had a good time with no it. No doubt. Um, so fast forward to now, I mean, you got this NSX, you got a Supra. I mean, what if, you got all the dream builds or yep. the dream car, the bucket list cars. Sure. What's what's next on the plate? Uh, man, like I said, so we'll finish this NSX up. We'll get this one complete. Uh, we're going to be doing, I'm kind of going to be building three cars at one time, right? So um, trying to finish, I got a LS460 Lexus that I'm going to call my daily build. Uh, bagged on 21s. It's a 07. It's got mm -hmm. the 16 or 17 front end conversion, rear conversion, uh, three piece 21s, air runners, airbags, the whole nine. Pretty cool car. Uh, so working on that. Uh, the Supra is the most expensive build I've ever did in my life. Uh, and I just don't even want to think about how much money <laughs> I've put into it, you know. Uh, but it will be a full out, I'll call it more of like a, um, Kind of like a, a a cruiser, but it'll definitely be let's call it Pro Street, right? Because it'll be a fully built car, uh, definitely capable uh, with the Turbo 400, 88 rear end, and the whole nine, uh, 2700 CC injectors, you name it, it's been done. Uh, you know, very capable abilities to getting into the eight second mm -hmm. range and a quarter mile. Uh, I won't do that, right? It'll have AC. It'll be a cruiser car. But it can definitely get down if it needed to. Uh, so super excited about getting that car. Just won that Supra, right? Uh, I do have an FDRX7 also. Uh, not sure if I'm going to build it. I'm actually kind of thinking about selling it because uh, I'm kind of really in the hunt currently for like a '70s 911. So that's uh, oh there you so go. So yeah, so we'll see. K swapping something like that would be pretty cool. So so what you got going on right here? Yeah, man. So we're on the. Uh, these are the actually the second revision of the Rega Masters. Um, 
we got the stop tick brakes. Um, and, you know, we wrapped in the Yokohamas, man. So, uh, you know, trying to break good, uh, look good. So uh, that was one of the first uh, mods I did to the car was I had to have big brakes front and rear. That was just kind of one of those things I always wanted. Uh, again, that's uh, like the spoon style scoops. These are not actual spoon scoops because I wanted the carbon. Uh, so I kind of like the two-tone of the both. So uh, it's the only reason I didn't go with those. We did go with the authentic spoon mirrors. Uh, nice. which are a pretty penny of course okay. um other cool things we kind of done when the car was uh of course we did the scoops uh we did the voltex um and then we did the custom stands for my buddy philip um so yeah so other cool parts of the car so these normally run like a 16 17 like 17 in the rear right yep and what you got going on? So here? right now we're running a 1718. So this is a 17 uh, 835 up front and a 7 uh, 1810 35 in the rear. Nice. Yeah. You got the rear diffuser. Yep. Oh, again, like I was saying on this, this is a pretty much one off. It's one of two built. Dolly Racing with the company was out uh, er, way earlier 2000s. Uh, they dropped a couple parts and then they kind of just disappeared, man. So it's kind of cool to own that like, oh, part yeah. of NSX looks, history. Yeah, it looks good. So engine-wise, we we got an intake. Yep. So we got a uh, downforce engine cover. We just got bolt-ons, right? So just the intake. Uh, trying to just keep it really clean, uh, which is really tough in this car, man, because, you know, it's wide open from the bottom, throwing dust and stuff up. So always kind of over that uh again we'll have some new pieces coming in for the bay uh getting valve covers powder coated you know all center brackets and all that kind of stuff cleaned up uh so yeah it should be pretty cool soon and you got some recaros in here yep got the uh the recaros uh these are the sr3 uh speeds uh reclinable we're actually going uh with the spoon wheel a spoon knob uh, we're going to be switching up a couple things, uh, going to the um, Recaro pole positions. I uh, got a harness bar, got the um, Willens harnesses going in too, so it be oh, pretty nice. cool. Uh, we did a custom stereo, it's got a, a JLW3 in the center with a custom box, and I got a Alpine boat radio actually behind the carbon, so it kind of looks like we don't have anything. Oh, but, okay. uh, so we, we Bluetooth in, so yeah, we actually... I was got a pretty cool like, sound system. A, yeah, it's a whole delete. Yeah, but you actually got something going on. Absolutely, there. yeah. Okay. Got to have that sound, man. Yeah, because uh, he's not hitting VTEC. That's if right. I drove this car, it'd be hitting VTEC. Yeah, I don't hit VTEC. <laughs> uh, fun fact about the car: I guess I've owned the car about five years, and I bet I've hit VTEC five or six times. Uh, I kind of baby the car. Just motors expensive, you know, and. Um, some of the other stuff there were some unknowns with the car right when i purchased it, uh, the car so we don't know when the timing belt and all that stuff was changed right so i just didn't want to do anything to beat it up now once i turbo it i'll probably beat it up a couple more times uh but not too much you know just some hot boy stuff when you kind of leave in a show or something <laughs> <laughs> but you had your fair share of vtex from b16s b18s yeah. h22s all that yeah yeah you know so where would you rate this vtex sound compared Man, you know, um, it's okay, right? You can definitely hear the, the changeover. Uh, nothing like uh, Sob's car back in the day. <laughs> that changeover yeah. on that B16 was just heavy. Oh, yeah, uh, so B16 for me, is, that seems to be the the best one. Yeah. Besides a B18 C5. Sure. But. Yeah, C5s are cool, too. Uh, yeah, so, but, uh, yeah, man, so. Uh, that VTEC hits, but you know, again, we're gonna. I'm ready for the boost, man. Uh, just the sounds of that thing is gonna be making. I just can't wait to get it on there. Uh, another cool part of in the rear, if you can see too, the uh, the rear brakes on the stop takes actually come with two calipers, right? So uh, we do have a active and a um, a real e brake. Uh, some cars uh, do not actually have an e brake, so mm. pretty cool to have that too. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah. So, but on that note. Stay tuned for more because there's changes coming in 2024. For sure. We'll be on a, a lookout for his channel coming up. Yes, sir.